and a very good morning from Disney's Castaway Key. We are here. Uh, it has been raining all morning, but we are here, and it's supposed to rain actually most of the day off and on, but it doesn't matter. Let me give you a view of this place. I apologize for the fogginess of the lens. It is a bit humid here. There's the five cares. There they go. They got some runners going over there. So we are on the other side of the island. The beach is on the other side, I believe, but I did want to give you guys a view of what I'm seeing. So we're planning on doing some snorkeling and some other activities today, just hanging out at the beach, eating at the barbecue place. Really excited just to get off the boat and explore the island, because again, we've never been here, so uh, just lots of adventure oasis. So let's get off the boat, let's check it out. All right, so we are at Cabana's this morning. Ledger, what are you eating already? A lot of bacon. A lot of bacon, you are a bacon boy, right? You ready to get off this boat, get on the island? Yep. All right, what are you excited about doing? I have no clue. <laughs> you have no idea. No idea. about snorkeling? Yeah, that's one. Uh, and remember what's under there when yeah, you snorkel? The Nautilus. The Nautilus is under there. The USS so Nautilus. So we're going to check that out, right? Yeah. All right, Cabanas. Looking good. We are just walking off the ship here and we are officially on Castaway Key. I'm going to show you the ship. This is uh, our side of the ship, actually. And so we're up there somewhere, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, we are now walking to the actual part of the island where we get to sit and relax and enjoy ourselves and snorkel and everything else. Man, seeing the ship up this close is crazy. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. It is insane how big the ship is. We're gonna say we're probably right up there. They're cleaning everything. It's really neat. So we're gonna make our way uh, over here to the guest areas and we're gonna check it out because we have, we don't really know what's all over there to offer, uh, but we do know we're gonna do some snorkeling. Uh, it's very, very overcast today. Um, it's not hot. They say it could come and go, the rain, it's been raining a good chunk of the morning. But anyway, we're gonna, we're not gonna let that stop the fun. We're gonna have a great time. We're going to enjoy ourselves. So let's go discover the magic together. No guest. Welcome to our beautiful island, Castaway Key. In just a few short minutes, we'll be arriving at Scuttle's Cove Tram Stop. You should disembark here for Scuttle's Cove Children Program area. Hi there. Welcome to Castaway Key, Lockie. Happy Castaway Key Day, buddy. All right, look at this. All right, so we're gonna go down here to see if we could go to the Castaway Rays uh, area. We didn't have a reservation or anything. Um, it's not really something we planned, but this place is pretty dead because of the weather. Uh, there's hardly anybody down here. It's really weird uh, <laughs> without so many people. But anyway, uh, we are officially on the beach, as you can see here, and we're gonna go see what we can do, but we're gonna check out um, if the Rays is even open, the Stingray Adventure, because they did cancel all of the events today here on the island, like the parasailing and all that stuff. It's all canceled because of the weather. So we're gonna kind of see what's available to us. Well, if we can still do stuff, hopefully we can at least still snorkel, um, but it looks like maybe the Rays, as we get down here, is going to be probably closed but we're still gonna check it out. So here we are on Castaway Key. It is raining cats and dogs and thundering and lightning right now. So everybody, they've cleared the beach, they cleared the water. Everybody has to be under these covered shelters um, until the weather passes. So we are not even allowed to go back to the ship. We have to stay under covered shelter. So um, I'm just ready for this to pass. I'm freezing clothes, cold. All my clothes are soaking wet, so I can't put them back on. And all of our towels are wet. So. Anyway, here we are sitting in this very crowded covered shelter watching the rain on our beautiful beach vacation. So hopefully this will pass soon and we'll be back in the water. Alright, so 
uh, the island basically closed down completely and uh, now we're going to walk. It's still raining, but they did open up the tram so you can get back on the boat. But we are gonna go over here to where the restaurant is and have a little bit of lunch um, and still try to stay a little bit dry. Hopefully we'll still get a chance to go back on the beach, but I, I just don't know if they're gonna let us back in the water or not. Actually, they did open the beach, but not the swimming area. So we still want to snorkel. Hopefully that'll happen, but uh, we're gonna find out. So let's go get some food and check that out. All right, my young my young Padawan, are you gonna get some lunch? Uh, yeah, I think. It's still raining, huh? Yeah. Yeah, kind of a bummer. Luckily they opened the beach, so. But yeah, yeah, the ship's back open, so we can go back that way. But we're gonna get some food and hopefully Hopefully this will all clear off. What do you think? Let's hope so. I want to go scuba dive to see the Nautilus, so to see. I do too. This guy, right? This, this guy. All right. Let's, let's hope. Let's go get some lunch. So we are at Cookies here and we have some Lay's barbecue, Lay's classic. Uh, also some traditional coleslaw there and also tomato salad, couscous. And, and brisket potato. potato salad. And that right there is garlic and mozzarella flatbed. And then on this side they have all the meats. Burgers, hot dogs, uh, spicy chicken burgers, sauerkraut, corn, Cajun chicken, uh, a whole bunch of other meats down here. It looks pretty delicious. All right, so Ledger got the hot dogs and some chips. How are the chips? Good. I tried the um, hamburger here, and then also they had a chicken sandwich, cold slaw, flatbreads, got some chocolate chip cookies here. Locke, of course, got the hot dog. Hot dog. You like the hot dog? Okay. And mommy got. She's gonna try the. I got a veggie burger and a regular burger. I just wanted to try the veggie burger to see if it's something I like. It's. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It's got beans and corn and stuff in it. I like it. I like corn. So not your favorite. Not my favorite. Uh, but the banana bread is really good, so that's something. So I'll try my regular burger and we'll compare. You got some fresh fruit as well. Yep. They also had some ribs, uh, couscous, uh, chicken, yeah, some other things as well. Yeah, chili doesn't sound too good on a hot day for me, but anyway. So we're going to try these sandwiches and see how we think, what we think of them. Hamburger is very good. A lot of flavor. Really good. Hamburger was great, but I'm skipping right to dessert. Chocolate chip cookie. Soft, chewy. Fantastic. So. It was really fantastic. I really liked the chicken sandwich. That was my favorite thing. Chocolate chip cookies, really good. Uh, and the weather, it's still really, really dark over in that direction, but they've let, it, they let, they've let people go back in the water. So that's really cool. I do want to show you all of the background here, all the palm trees, all of the amazing, uh, just, just the amazing ambiance of this place. It's really tropical, it's really fun. Um, so we are going to head this way and we are going to go back to our seats and get our snorkel gear, snorkel gear back on. Sorry, I'm all tongue-tied today, but uh, we're going to do that and hopefully see the Nautilus, which we've been waiting for for a really long time. So let's head that way. Another really quick helpful hint. There are seagulls everywhere and they will dive bomb your food. Do not leave food uncovered or they will attack it. Uh, they are everywhere on this island. They have it made. They live in paradise. How great is that? All right, so we just did snorkeling and we literally got all the way out to the very far buoy, didn't we, Ledge? Yeah. Yep, and now it's lightning like crazy. Uh, they had us go all the way back to shore. And so we are currently looking for the rest of our family. Um, they have our bag with our phones and stuff in it. So we're just literally walking around. The beach is a ghost town uh, because everybody's kind of undercover. This day has been a bust. I asked 
some of the cast members how often it rains and they said every once in a while but not too too often so unfortunately we were just unlucky today uh, we did get to enjoy a little bit of them uh, the amenities here but it's going to hopefully be tomorrow we have Nassau and then we're back to Castaway Key the next day so hopefully we will get a do-over we are only hoping that we have a little bit nicer weather I mean really it's cool it's not hot out which I appreciate because I hate the heat but uh, you know really yeah, it's really lightning. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's really starting to lightning. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the ship, uh, kind of just call it a day as in, in terms of Castaway Key. But this place, be seeing it for the first time, it's beautiful. Beaches are beautiful, lots of umbrellas, palm trees everywhere. It is incredibly well done. Disney, of course, always does a fantastic job with everything that they do with theming and everything else. Food was good. Um, so anyway, we're hoping for some do-overs in the next couple of days. Uh, but now we're going to head back to the ship, so let's do that. So we're headed back to the ship. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, for a while there, the rain let up and the thunderstorm looked like it was going to clear and they let us back in the water and now it's back. It's thundering, it's lightning, and we know they're going to shut it down again. So we're just going to go ahead and head up to the room, uh, maybe take a shower, we're not maybe, shower. definitely take a shower. For sure. Yeah, definitely take a shower and um, maybe a little rest and then figure out what we want to do on the boat with the rest of our family. So wasn't quite what we were expecting for a castaway key day we had been really really looking forward to this one um but we do get two shots at it so hopefully next time the weather will cooperate we'll see see you on board fingers crossed just wanted to show you this crazy storm rolling in we're back on the boat this rain's not going away anytime soon this is really crazy let me show you some of the breakers there Hopefully we do not have choppy seas tonight. <laughs> it's only hope, but it is just really coming down. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but man. Beautiful shower. Not so much fun for the island though. We are all rested up and we are actually going to go pick up Locke. He's been down in the Explorers Club. We're gonna go pick him up, hang out a little bit, maybe check out a movie real quick before we go to dinner tonight. Uh, we're really excited about that. Obviously a new restaurant this evening. Now we're all kind of dressed up as well for that. So that's really nice. And then we're going to see what the night brings us. I know there is the Golden Mickey's tonight. So we're going to definitely check that out. Looking forward to that show. And uh, again, it's all new to us. So it's exciting. <laughs> We are pushing off from Castaway Key. Let's see here what it's like. Pretty crazy. It's pretty neat going out the buoy buoys. But bon voyage. Off to Nassau. It is loud, so I hope you can hear me. Uh, but it is 5.30, and we have dinner at 5.45, so we decided to come down here and try to take some pictures in advance of dinner while we're all dressed up. Tonight is optional, formal night. Um, but everybody else doing the same thing. We did not get here early enough. So you can see behind me, yeah, there's that big old line. That's just to take a picture on the staircase. So that's what we're waiting in right now. I know Michael has always said before, you need to be at least 30 minutes early if you're going to take pictures, and we did not heed his advice. Sorry, Michael. So we'll know for next time if we want to do pictures before dinner, we need to do it in advance. So maybe you will learn from us too. All right. Uh-oh, there's an announcement. So we're signing the 
going up to the midship detective agency. It's like a scavenger hunt um, all over the ship. So if it's a rainy day or we just don't have anything else to do, it's a really good fun thing to explore the ship and get the kids moving. So let's register missing puppies, plundered paintings, or stolen. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park? What? What? Is this going on the blooper reel? What? Alright, ready? Here we go. One, two. Welcome to Enchanted Garden. Alright, for dinner we got a couple of appetizers. This is the uh, cucumber roll. And you got one, and she got one. Emily over there. There you go. And there's Uncle Josh. He got four, got four. appetizers. You have the cucumber All right. roll. You have the bacon and mushroom tart. Tort? I don't know. Tart. Could be either. Tort tart. You have the lobster ravioli. And you have the tuna and avocado tower of three, a whole three layers. All right. See what he thinks of the tuna. Ahi tuna. It's really good. All right. Right on. Nice shot. Exactly what I expected. All right. All right. We also have the tomato soup here. Um, got some croutons and some cheese on top. So I'm going to give it a go and see what I think. It's very good. It's almost like a tomato sauce cons consistency. Um, got a little bit of a little tang to it. It's very good. Here at Enchanted Garden, and between the four of us adults, we ordered all of the appetizers: the um, cucumber roll, the tuna. Um, I don't remember what all there was, but for me, the best one was they had a bacon and mushroom tart, and it was delicious. That's what Josh ordered, and that's what I should have ordered. But I did not care for the cucumber roll at all. Oh, the lobster ravioli was the other one, and it was really good. But still, the bacon and mushroom tart is the winner. So keep that in mind for next time. All right, so Josh just got the sea scallops. Josh, what do you think there, buddy? Oh, uh, they're pretty good. Tom Boy had scallops a few times, but it's right on. And then over here we have the sea bass. My man, server Chris, said that they is melting your mouth. So we'll try it here in a little bit. All right, we'll see what you think. All right, we're back with Josh, and he is trying the sea bass. It's really good. On the uh, on the verge of me not sounding like an idiot, uh, you know, it's just a really good white fish, uh, super buttery, right on. Certainly not a food critic, but it was really good. All right. I got the sirloin. It's really good. Not too bad. A little dry. Could use a little, maybe a little sauce or something. And then we also got some pork tenderloins that I'm getting ready to try. And we'll see if that's any good. So we're here at Enchanted Garden and I ordered the warm sticky date pudding. It is warm. It feels good. Um, that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. I'm excited to try it. And then secondarily, I ordered the kids apple pie dessert. Look how cool that is. Because it's really pretty and She's a king. I was just excited about it. So I'm really excited to dig into both of these. Of course, Uncle Josh over there got a couple of desserts. Already knee deep into that. I got apple the apple pie. pie as well as you can see. It's really good. It's almost halfway all the way gone. And then I got the chocolate brownie sundae. Nice. Big time. Nice. And you got the lemon orange mousse mousse bomb. Oh, very nice. Look at that bomb. There it is. There it is. Straight from Chris. There he goes. There he goes. Let's go try this out. We just finished with dinner. I'm back in our room, as you can see here at the open sea, and dinner was very good. I really enjoyed the pork tenderloin. I definitely recommend it. Definitely better than the sirloin. Sirloin was okay, but the pork tenderloin was really, really good. Um, just a really nice experience. Uh, our waiter, the cast members have been just absolutely fantastic here. Uh, Top-notch service from Disney, as always. I can't recommend them enough. 
but just just really awesome crew and the food's been good atmosphere's been good um, and now we're um, let's see we're going to have the Golden Mickeys tonight which is a really cool show I'm looking forward to and then obviously tomorrow we're going to be arriving in port at Nassau really looking forward to that as well and uh, I, I don't think we have anything really planned on the island. I think we're going to do a little bit of adult time, which is really cool. The kids are going to go down to the club, and we're just going to kind of walk around Nassau and see what it all has to offer. But today's been really great. Started out really rainy and kind of crazy, but uh, tonight, as you can see, just beautiful out here. Uh, the ocean has calmed down. The storms moved away, and uh, things are things are going really well. So. We're going to probably show you a little bit. I'm not sure if we can film in the Golden Mickeys, but um, we'll show you a little bit of the theater and kind of wrap up today. But I do want to share this beautiful scene here. So we just got out of the Golden Mickeys and what a show. Fantastic production. Uh, we're not allowed to film in there, um, but man, I wish I could have shown you what it was because it was fantastic. Really, really cool. And I uh, just loved it. It was really, it's worth every second. So we're gonna drop off one of our kiddos at the kids club. It's now 9.30 at night, and uh, the night is just beginning. Kendall, I love it, and I want to know, hmm, I want to know your favorite Disney character. Uh, Rapunzel. Rapunzel! Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Alrighty, pick your envelope. Oh, the middle one. And give it back. Oh, I like suspense. Alrighty, you have picked song number one. And you will be dancing to Gitchy Gitchy Goo from Phineas and Ferb. Hit it! All right, I want to see you close on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Pose! Chicken fingers, my favorite. Hey, what'd you get? That's my screen. end of our night here. It is 11.15. I just went and picked Lock Up from the Kids Club. They actually keep kids in the Kids Club until about midnight. So it's a long time for these kids. I know Lock is exhausted. Ledger didn't want to go to Kids Club tonight, so he stayed with us. We went and played a game show. It was really fun, the Generation Gap game show. Um, having a good time. I came up on stage and danced and made a fool of myself, but that's part of what you do on a cruise is just join in and have fun. So we definitely did that. Overall, this day was not what we expected. Um, you know, with the rain and the weather on Castaway Key, uh, we kind of missed out on some of the fun stuff we were looking forward to. But we know we have another shot at it. Um, it's actually still storming outside. You can see the lightning and the thunder, and the boat is rocking. It's rocking tonight. Uh, enough that my patch just wasn't cutting it, and I had to put on my electrical tens unit on my arm um, to help with the nausea. So. Now I'm ready to go to bed. Hopefully I can just sleep through the rocking of the boat and, um, and we'll be able to start a whole new day tomorrow in Nassau, Bahamas. So we'll see you then.